integrated circuits. In this module, you will learn about the types and construction of ICs. Earlier, the size of computers used to be very big. However, nowadays, laptop computers and palm top computers are available. Wondering what made the miniaturization of electronic gadgets possible? The answer is ICs. IC stands for integrated circuits. Integrated circuits, IC, have a big role to play in the miniaturization of electronic gadgets. Earlier, the electronic circuits were prepared using transistors, diodes and resistors by joining those using conducting wires. Because of this, these circuits were huge and bulky. Further, these circuits were not reliable. So, an attempt was made to fabricate an entire circuit consisting of many components such as diodes, resistors, inductors, capacitors on a small, single block of a semiconductor connected with the help of metal strips. This gave rise to the concept of integrated circuits, IC. ICs are found in almost all gadgets like cars, televisions, CD players and cell phones. The size of an IC is about 1 mm by 1 mm. Being so small in size, ICs have made the miniaturization of electronic gadgets possible. ICs can be grouped into categories depending on the nature of input signals. They are A. Linear or Analog ICs and B. Digital ICs. In linear ICs, the input signals are analog signals which change smoothly and continuously over a range of values between a maximum and a minimum. In this case, the output is almost directly proportional to the input, that is, it varies linearly with the input. Operational amplifier is an example of linear IC. In digital ICs, the input signals are digital signals that have only two values. They contain circuits such as logic gates. Based on the number of logic gates present in it, Digital ICs can be further classified as SSI, MSI, LSI, and VLSI. SSI, Small Scale Integration, has less than 10 logic gates per square millimeter. MSI, Medium Scale Integration Chips, have less than 100 logic gates per square millimeter. LSI, large-scale integration chips, have 100 to 1000 logic gates per square millimeter. VLSI, very large-scale integration chips, have more than 1000 logic gates per square millimeter. Let us now have a look at the steps followed in the manufacturing of ICs. Firstly, a wafer of n-type semiconductor is taken and photolithography technique is used. In this technique, firstly a layer of silicon dioxide insulator is coated over it. Then a thin layer of photoresistant material is placed over silicon dioxide. After this, masking is done and ultraviolet light is made incident on it. Whenever the light is incident over the photoresistive portion, it becomes hard and no chemical reaction can take place over it. Next, silicon dioxide is removed with the help of the etching process. Lastly, the required impurities are added. The process is repeated to obtain different geometries required to complete the chip circuit design. The internal connection between the components is made by passing aluminium vapor. The chip is enclosed in a protective plastic case. Finally, with the help of thin aluminium leads, the connectors are taken out and this is how the standard package IC is manufactured. This type of IC in which the entire circuit is formed on a single silicon crystal is called monolithic IC. These are the most widely used ICs. Large number of monolithic ICs embedded on a ceramic substrate is known as hybrid IC. Let's recap. ICs, integrated circuits, have made the miniaturization of electronic gadgets possible. 
ICs are found in almost all gadgets like cars, televisions, CD players and cell phones. ICs can be grouped into two categories depending on the nature of input signals. A. Linear or analog ICs. B. Digital ICs. In linear ICs, the input signals are analog signals which change smoothly and continuously over a range of values between a maximum and a minimum. In digital ICs, the signals are digital signals that have only two values. They contain circuits such as logic gates. Based on the number of logic gates present in it, digital ICs can be further classified as SSI, MSI, LSI and VLSI. To manufacture ICs, a wafer of semiconductor is taken and the photolithography technique is used. This type of IC in which the entire circuit is formed on a single silicon crystal is called monolithic IC. Large number of monolithic ICs embedded on a ceramic substrate is known as hybrid IC.